itorero rya Yesu Kristo Yesu ashimwe cyane Church of God praise Jesus Amakuru mumeze neza Are you well Ça va bien Is everything okay Mwe ça va Is everything okay Imani shimwe ko twatangiye umwaka mwiza turi kumwe kandi muguwe neza no mugisha w'Imana Praise God that we have started the year well and we are all okay Eh ukunu kwezi kwimpuhwe This is the month of compassion Ijambo impuhwe The word compassion Nkoresheje ngene kereje mu cyongereza compassion nkuko abivuze compassion If you put it in English is compassion Ni jambo rikomoka mu kiratini cyakera iryo jambo compassion cyangwa compassion It's a word that originates in ancient Latin Compassion Compassion Dirimwa magamba abiri It has two words in it Il y a comme the word comme na passion and the word passion bivuga kum pachori it's kum and pachor kum no kuvuga ngo hamwe ensemble avec with kum means with together pachor bivuga kubabara souffrance suffer and pachor means suffering ni kuvuga ngo kum pachori no kubabarana kum pachor means suffering together Niyo ijambo compassion rikomoka mu rurimi uretse rwacu ruvuga impuhwe cyangwa simbabazi ariko muri kikirimi ni kumu pachori gufatanya umubabaro That's where the word compassion comes it means uh, being suffering or suffering together Eh kubabarana suffering together ni kintu umuntu atanga gahundi It is something that one shares with another. Iyo sanzu umuntu ababaye. If you find someone suffering, wewe unezerewe. And you are happy. Uragenda ukamwegera ukabarana nawe. You go near that person and you suffer with them. Nukuvuga ngo umuhaye icyo warufite. That means you give that person what you have. Ubabaranye nawe muri uyu mubabaro. You are suffering in the same suffering. Urirana nawe muri aya marira. You cry the same tears. Ijo niho hava ijambo imuwe cyangwa imbabazi. That's where the word compassion comes from. Ijo jambo twitimuhwe. The word that we call compassion. Bifite andi magambo ashamikiyeho nk'ijambo imbabazi. It has words that are similar like mercy or forgiveness. Imbabazi. Mercy. mercy. Imbabazi ni jambo rikomoka mu mpuhwe. Mercy comes from compassion. Ikindi nanone mu mpuhwe harimo ijambo rukundo. Ufatanya mu rukundo. And also in compassion comes the word love. Nanone muri iri jambo eh jikilatin compassion cyangwa se iri jambo rivuga ngo kubabara namwe harimo no kuvuga ngo gukundana mu mibabaro. And the word compassion or compassion means loving each other in suffering. Iyo bonye umuntu ababaye na ukamukunda ukababarana nawe. Hari mu rukundo muri ako kababaro. When you see someone suffering and you love that person and you share the same suffering there is compassion in that. Nanone muri iri jambo impuhwe. And the word compassion itself hari mu nanone gutanga icyo ufite icyo ushoboye cyose guhumu. It means giving what you have to that person. Nikuvanga iyo usanze umuntu babaye arira ugakuramo mushwaru kamuha bigaragaza none compassion icyo ufite urakimuhaye gishobora guta umutima we uruhuka. So when you find someone crying and you give them for instance a cloth to wipe themselves that's compassion in that. Iyo usanze umuntu ashonje if you find someone hungry ukababarana nawe and you suffer with that person you do something to take them out of that hunger ukamugaburira and you feed that person iyo nayo ni compassion impuhwe that is also qualified as compassion and when someone does that iman iramugororera god rewards that person ngo nasa wansanze namba yubusuranyambika you found me naked and you clothed me 
You found me crying and you comforted me. You visited me in prison. You visited me in the hospital. Now I am rewarding you stand at my right hand and enter the kingdom of, of God. Of the Father. Compassion is rewarded because compassion itself is a reward. Why is compassion a reward? Because compassion is one of the uh, parts that make God. It is the quality of God. What we call the virtues of God or the nature of God it is compassion. Compassion so when God gives you compassion he's taking something out of himself so that you may have it many times when you have compassion it is done towards someone who is not able and who is clearly unable to make or to get to that uh, destination Whatever they do, because of their power, they cannot achieve that. So that person is, has compassion towards them. People have compassion towards that person. Let's read a scripture in uh, Genesis 29. Verse 16. 16 to 32. Labani Aramusubizati. Iwa chunti bagenza batiu. Gushingiru mutoba sizumukuru. Mara imisiri indwi yuwo. Tubona kugushingira nuri ya. Iyindi miyakiri indwi uzatenda. Yakoba bigenzatyo. Amari misiri indwi ya lea. Labana mushingira rasheri mukobu gawe. Kandi labani atanga biluha umujawe. Amuha rasheri umukobu gawe ho indongoranyo. Yakobo arongora na rasheri. Akungwa kaza rasheri anyungwa kaza lea. Atenda kuri labani indi miyakiri indwi. Uiteka wanakole ya nyungu wakaye aziwuri ndaye. Ariko rasheli yari ingumba. Lea sama inda abzaru muhungu. Amuitarube ni ati. Nuku uiteka. Yabo nyu mubabaro wanje. None humugabo wanje azangu. And Laban said, it must, be, it must not be done in our, so in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill her week and will give you this one also for the service which will serve with me still another seven years. Then Jacob did so and fulfilled her week. So he gave him his daughter Rachel as wife also. also and Laban gave his maid Bilhah to his daughter Rachel as a maid. Then Jacob also went into Rachel and he also loved Rachel more than Leah. And he served with Laban still another seven years. When the Lord saw that Leah was unloved, he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. So Leah conceived and bore a son, and she called him his name Reuben. For she said, the Lord has surely looked on my affliction. Now therefore, my husband will love me. Amen. If you look at the verse 16, Wikigich. In this chapter, then Laban said to Jacob, Because you are my relative, should therefore serve me for nothing. Tell me. What mm -hmm. Now, Laban had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah. Laban, Laban she had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah's eyes were delicate. Leah, 
but Rachel was beautiful of form and appearance. Ngwariko ngurasheri ngwayarate yeneza kanda saneza. Now Jacob loved Rachel, so he said, I will serve you seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. Hanyuma, Yakobo akundande Rashid. Yakobo akundande Rashid. Sibzo. Yes. Muto yakui mukuruwe. Komeza umurongo kuri kira. The younger daughter. Let's read 19. Chumini munan. Oh, 18. Chumini chenda pando. And Laban said, it is better that I give her to you than I should give her to another man. Stay Labani with you. Mm-hmm. So Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed only a few days to him because of the love he had, he had for her. <laughs> Do you hear that? He served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed only a few days. Go, yamu kore imya kirinu, ngwa liko ya sagani misi. He served him seven years, but it was as if it was a few days. Kube ya kwa ya ramu kunze cha. Because he loved her too much. Imya kirinu, ya kwa ze ngwa bwone la sheri, ya sagani misi rindu. The seven years he served to get Rachel was like seven days. Kube riki. Why is that? Urukundo ya ramu. Because of the love. She, he Amen. Had Amen. Eh. Uh, the story is like this. Abraham, Abraham, he had a relative called Neho. Another one was called Haran. And both of them came from Terah. Haran, 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 was the father of Lot. Naho Nahori and Nehor Yarisewalabani was the father of Laban na Rebecca. and Rebecca. Are you with me? Abrahamu Abraham Ari Muka Ajamugimani Muhammadari. He moved and went to the country where God called him. Ari Kobatari Jamuichogihugu. But before they entered that land. They stayed in the north of that country. Harani. And they called that country Haran. Harani and they called Haran after the name of their relative who died. Who was the father of Lot. Harani. And they called that place Haran. That's why you read Padan Haram. Or the country of the Arameans. Today in that place. It is in Turkey of today. But they had come from Iraq. And they called that place Ur of the Chaldeans. Across the river of Euphrates. When they uh, traveled up north to Canaan, which is Israel today, they, tra- they crossed that river, that sea. They left their country, Iraq. And they went through Turkey. And came towards the south. So that they can reach the land of the promised Canaan. When they got to Canaan, they stayed there. And that's where Haran died. And that's where the father of Abraham, Terah, died. And God visited Abraham again. And he said, leave the country of your fathers and go to a country I'll show you. Abraham and Abraham in that place ah, left Nehor. Are we together? Ah, he left Nehor in that place. Ah, cha, cha, cha Haran. And he left the tomb of his brother Haram in that place. But he took the orphans of Haran. 
ariwe Lot. Who is Lot? Hari ya hasiga Nahori. And he left Nahor in that place. Nahori yara fitaba. Neho had sons. He had Laban. And he had Rebecca. Amen. Amen. When he reached Canaan, he gave birth to children. And he sent his servant. He said, Go back to my country and find me a wife. That's the way he left. And he found Laban had children. The son of Nahor. Nahor and Nahor had children as well. And among those children was Laban. Rebecca. And Rebecca. And even others. Then he took Rebecca. Rebecca became the wife of Isaac. Rebecca. Truly, they were relatives. He was her sister, his sister. Because their fathers were brothers. At that time, this was not a problem. Because people lived together, they would marry in, in between their families. And they will marry their brothers and sisters. The time of Abraham, Noah, and, and uh, Adam, the families will marry in, in between. Among themselves. People were still very few. There were not many. When they became many, God put a law. When they got to the wilderness from Egypt, after a thousand years after the death of Abraham, God spoke to Moses. He said, this is the law that I'm giving you. When he was on the mountain of Sinai, which is the mountain of Horeb, he said, don't let anybody marry their relative. If someone does it, they will Doing, they will be doing a sin that has curse in it. Because your brother or your sister is your own blood. Your cousin is your brother or your sister. God forbid that rule to happen. And from that time, all those things happen in the wilderness. But before the wilderness and to the time of Abraham, and to the time of Adam, God did not allow people or oh, the genes to have uh, issues when they married. In, corrupted. The genes not to be corrupted. But when God stopped it, it became a sin that would even have consequences in the blood of those children. So I just wanted you to hear that. So they took Isaac's wife from that place. Rebecca came and he became his wife. And when they, they had children, they had twins. Esau and Jacob. And they fought for the blessing. Anyway. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh, Esau and Jacob had problems. What problems did they have? The blessings. Isaac gave the, uh, Isaac gave the blessing to Jacob when he belonged to Esau. And uh, when Esau was in his room, he said, he said, I'm going to wait until people forget about it and I'll kill Jacob. And the mother heard it. The mother of Esau and Jacob. 
and he called Jacob. He said, I heard your brother. He said that he will kill you. So we don't have any brother or any children. Go to your uncle. Go to my brother. Go to Laban. And go and live there. Instead of me losing you, go to your uncle. That's how Jacob left. Jacob left Beersheba. And he walked all day. He got to the mountains of Ephraim. And night fell on him. And he, he slept. And that place was called Ruz. It was in the night. He had a vision. And he saw a ladder. He saw angels going up and down. That's when he said, I slept in the house of God. And he called that place Bethel. The house of God. He said, God, I'm going to a place I don't know. I don't know my brothers. I don't know anybody. I'm going to travel this country alone. He was still a young person. He was maybe 16 years old. He didn't know where he was going. He said, if you help me and I get to where I'm going in peace and I come back without have or, or alive. I will build a house for you. God heard it and he left. When he was about to get to Nehor, he found uh, people, shepherds. He found shepherds there. They were they were waiting uh, for people for the stones to be removed so that they could uh, water their camels they were waiting for the time to arrive he greeted him and said hello he said hello he said why don't you give a ch uh, the, the sheep water they, they say we are waiting for other people to come so that we can remove the stone together. And he said, Do you know a man called Nehor who lives in this country? They say, Yes, we know that, that person. Actually, he, her granddaughter is that lady who's coming. The daughter of Laban. And in the, when, when he was about to he saw Rachel bringing the sheep. No. Maybe his sons did not care about the sheep. But he was a shepherd. Yeah. She. she was a shepherd. Yeah. Yeah. She was a shepherd. When he saw her, he went and hold her, or hugged her. He cried very much. And then he removed the stone. And he watered the sheep. After he watered the sheep, he said, let me tell you who I am. I am the son of Rebecca. The Rebecca, the, the sister of Laban. And he said, I am also a daughter of Laban. They Rachel. ran. Rachel, Rachel ran. He went to tell his father. He said, I have seen my brother, my cousin. The son of Rebecca. And they had never heard about Rebecca. She had, he had gone, she had gone in a far place. There was no phone, there was no news, there was no phone. There was no news, there was no news. They thought she had died in that place. And they saw the daughter. And Laban came running. They hugged her. And they received him. And, and they asked him about the news. And he told them about all the news. And they cried. 
And after that, he said, you are one of my sons. So my son, sit down and live with other people. And Jacob said, no. I am used to working. I am going to work. So they started to uh, to be a shepherd. He started to take the sheep. He replaced Rachel in the, in the work. And he called her. You say, even if you are my son, my brother, my son in law, or my son, even though you are my nephew and I'm your uncle, you say, I'm not happy to, for you to work without getting any pay. And he said, What do you need? He said, What, what you can give me? Give me Rachel to be my wife. He said, Do you really need Rachel? He said, you must serve seven years for Rachel. But he said, just those seven years? He worked those years like seven days. He was looking for Rachel. And Rachel was beautiful. And she was, one, she was good in appearance. And she was very beautiful. After seven years passed, she, he came. He said, I have worked. Give me my wife. He said, no. It's okay. Let's gather everybody to have a wedding. And they had a party. Uh, the culture of the Jews. The woman would come at night with a cover. And, and the, the, the husband would see the woman the face of the woman after seven days because that woman was in the, in the inner chamber. He couldn't see her in the day until after seven days after they had done the rituals. After they did the, those seven days Jacob looked at her and he found that they gave her Leah. He said, what have you done to me? I worked for Rachel. So why are you giving, are doing this to me? Why are you stealing from me? Rachel was beautiful. Leah I uh, had an issue with he had, she had delicate eyes. So they did not love her. Young men did not love her. Did not like her because she had that problem. But God had a plan for her. When people don't love you, you attract the favor of God, the compassion of God. Praise God. The compassion, the first compassion was done by who? It was her father. He said, how are you going to take the younger one and leave the old one? And she also belongs to me. So he gave it to her. Also in the culture of the Jews, there is no divorce except for uh, in case of adultery. Once you have become her husband, you cannot just get up and say, I, I, I divorce you. That's impossible. You are bound to that lady for until death. Laban left. Jacob left. He said, why did you give me the wrong woman? He said, listen to me. The first thing, in, my, in our country, in our culture, we don't do this. The younger one cannot be married before the older one. You must first marry the older one and then go and marry the younger one. Only Leah, you, you, you're going to marry Leah. So, 
I want Rachel. But now na kibas. He say I can give you Rachel. Too. You're going to work 7 more years for her. But the chone kibas ogito. So that's not a problem. Atari ko tumvikan. But let's agree to this. No ne humu. Give me Rachel. Hanyuma nkori ndi myaka 7 wari kombana nawo. And then I work those 7 years while uh, living with her. Ndabatunga bombi. I will have both of them. Ariko. But ndashaka rashi. I want Rachel too. But icho ni kibas ogito. They say, okay, that's a small problem. Since you are finishing seven days with Leia, it's okay. I will give you Rachel too. And then he gave her Rachel. And he lived seven days with her. And she became her wife as well. So this is where the problem started. Her heart, his heart never loved Leia. But his heart loved Rachel. And he would go to work and he would come home to Rachel after one month. A year passed. And God saw it. God saw it. So Leah was uh, nice but her husband did not care for her. She would cook for him. And he, he would go to uh, eat at Rachel's. And Rachel would come. And she would show Jacob that she was the better wife. And she would, she would tell Leah, actually, he had loved me. You, your things are not really clear. It's actually amazing. The Bible says uh, 31 Then when the Lord saw that Leah no, no, then Jacob also went into Rachel and he also loved Rachel more than Leah and he served with more Leben, than Leah. Leah. And he served with Laban. He loved one more than the other. Do you know what this means? The day he came to Leah, they would give her food. He will say, no, 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 it's not as good as Rachel's food. And he will leave. Everything that Leah would do for him, he will compare that to Rachel's. And the woman started, she was grieving, she was sad. She had so much pain. And she could not divorce him. She she, she could not leave the husband. And she was saddened very much. She could not find someone to understand her. Uh, she was uh, not beautiful. And then her husband did not love her. And also her father forced her onto Jacob. The love that is forced is not actually love. To tell someone, I commend you to love that person. That person can agree, but only that person knows uh, what they are going through. There are people who suffered in life because their parents forced their fathers and mothers upon them. And it caused the great trouble. There were so many wounds in people. They thought that uh, there were good marriages. But it was not the case. That's what happened to Leah. And she had so much pain. Because of Rachel. Because of Jacob. But because it's the ritual, the culture, Jacob would just go and sleep at layers. But it was not actually out of love. The Bible says on 31, this is where we see the compassion of God. Hallelujah. 
He opened her womb, but Rachel <laughs> was barren. Do you hear that? In the yande irazibuka. Yale. Whose womb was opened? Iyandi raziba. Yalash. Layers and Rachel was barren. Dere karikire zima na uzihera. So this is how God does his math. Iki kibas. This problem. Tamu pastor yari gusengera na sheri ngwabzari. <laughs> no pastor could pray for Rachel to give birth. No prophet could prophesy that this is what the Lord says you will have a son next year. Ah uh ah. -uh. No. Imana yari mikoresha impuhwe zayo mu kuboko kumwe igakoresha isomo ryayo mu kundi kuboko. God was using one of his hands to show compassion and he was teaching a lesson with another one. Kuri Yakobo to Jacob, hmm? Ngo kara kanya afuki imana, kugira ngu imana yere kani itandu karizu, itandu karizu, liri hagati yaba wombi. It was God's ch chastening. Rebuke was. Oh, rebuke. It was God's rebuke to Jacob for making so great a difference between those that he was equally related to. Bivuziki. What does this mean? Harakanya afuki imana kuri Yakobo kumwereka ko yubwayo imana. He was the rebuke to Jacob to show that God himself Ari yishiraho itandukanirizo ry'abantu ba muri imbere. Is the one that makes a difference between two people who are in front of him. Akarara mezi kwa Rasheli. He would sit many months to Rachel's. Kiagirikiwa. And nothing will happen. Ijoro rimwe gusa kwareye. One night spent a layers. Agatwita. She will give uh, she will, she will conceive and he moved everything to Rachel's after three years he would sleep at layers only one time and then she would conceive another no, no, ikibazo, one ikibazo. and a pro the Rachel problem and Rachel started to be a problem he to him. Him. He told him, give me a child. And they started to argue and say, I'm not God. He said, you give me children. And he would say, I'm not God. God. And he was a very troublesome man. Because he wanted to, be, to rest, he slept on layers and he gave birth to another. Oh. She conceived another child. That is done because of the compassion of God. When God sees you, sees you in uh, grief, ikagukorera ikigufasha. And he does something to help you. Now kuri Rachel, kuri Leia. And to Leah. Now kuri Rachel. To Rachel. Imana ari mumucisha bugufi. God was trying to humble her. Wahora gatuka mushikiwe. Because she would kana muchurira. Uh, her sister Oh, okay. A check to Rachel who perhaps insulted over her sister upon that account. So on to Leah, it was a comfort to her. <laughs> yes, Praise God. God comforted her because she was overwhelmed with contempt put on her. Yes, Praise God. Leah Abzara. Leah gave birth. Abzara and she gave birth to four children. Imagine. They were following each other like three years apart. Try to calculate four sons. That's twelve years. That's twelve years. Hebrew mothers will uh, breastfeed between three to five years. And you know that the husband will not always go there. So he was, if it was three years, he had uh, 12 years while the other one was barren. Actually, it's more than that. If it's four years, 
He was 16 years. Amuzarira Rubeni. She gave birth to Ruben. Aravangu imana yarebye. And she said God has sinned. Amuzarira Simeon. She gave birth to Simeon. Aravangu imana yumvisha. Say God has heard me. Amuzarira Lewi. She gave birth to Le- no, Levi. No no humugaba za gumana za geta. And she said oh now my husband will stay he will not leave me anymore. Amuzarira Yuda. He gave, she gave birth to Judah. Aravangu aho bigere yishimwe ni ry'Imana gusa. And she said now the the praise belongs to God. Rashera tarabzara no mwana no. Before Rachel even gave birth to someone. Okay, Rachel avuga tumva rero. And then Rachel said this. Ngiye kuguha umurezi wanje. I'm going to give you my servant. Uko uko babigezaga mu bahe burayo iyo umukobwa yatahaga bamuhaga n'umwana w'umukobwa w'umurezi. Igiha zabyara zamufashe guheka uwo mwana. Because the culture of the Hebrews when a young lady gets married they will give her a servant so that she will help her to take care of her children. Bamaze kurwana na yako bijoro ryose ravuga ati sasa ryamana n'umurezi wanje nange mbona kana After they fought with Jacob all night she said sleep with my servant so that I can have a child as well Naho yagiye kubakozi bo mu rugo And that's how he went to the servants of the house Ariko asubiye kwa Leya But when he would go back to Leya abyara abandi bahungu babiri She had he had two more sons Amaze kumubyarira batandatu After six sons were born to him Ati nanye ndaguwe umukozi wa She said I'm going to give you my Now my servant too. And she, he, she bought two sons for him. Ubuzima bwarasheri. The life of Rachel. Yabzaye abahungu babiri gusa. She only had two sons. Ariko Leah. Baleah. Yabzaye batandatu numukobwa wa karindwi witwa Dina. She had six sons with another daughter called Dina. Igitangaje niki. So what's amazing here is this. Mu muryango wa Leah. In the family of Leah. Wa wunda abantu banze. The one that people despised. Urya batemeraga. The person that did not wasuzuguwe. Accept the one who was Yuda. neglected is where Judah came from. Muri Yuda havuye mu. And from Judah yes. came Jesus. Abantu ni bakwanga. When people despise you. Yumenye ko impuwe z'Imana ari nyinshi kuri. Know that the compassion of God is upon you. Kandi nyumenye ko hari ikintu gikomeye Imana igiye gukora. And know that there's something great that God is about to do. Nokite kubantu ngo bakuvuze bagusetse nibande iyo bagusetse nyine baba bagucumurije impuwe z'Imana Do not care that people are laughing to you about you when they do that they are attracting the uh, compassion of God upon you Imana ishimwe cyane Praise God Igihe cyose Imana yacu iha icyubahiro kandi gakuza abantu batawe God gives abundant honor to that which lacked imana his, yacu ni imana yimbuwe he is a compassionate god cyangwa se ni imana yimbabazi oh he is a god of mercy impamvu imbabazi ari ngororano the reason uh, mercy is a reward nuko ari ikintu imana yitungiye hubwacu it is because it's something that god has for himself rero imana icikuye ikaguha ibiguhaye kado so when god releases it to you he's giving you a gift kuko impuwe Because mercy compassion is the nature of God. Amen. Amen. Impuhwe zigize kamere y'Imana. Compassion is part of God's nature. Zaburi 8 na gatano. Psalm 86 85 ku murongo wa 10 na gatano. Verse 15. Bibili iravuga ngo ariko wowe mwami uri imana yibambe ni mbabazi. Itinda kurakara ifite kugira neza kwinshi numurava mwinshi but you o lord are a god full of compassion and gracious long suffering and abundant in mercy and truth ijambi mpuvwe hano bari simbushe namagamba abiri ibambe nimbabazi mururi mirwacu aha bavuze ngo full god you are a god full of compassion iri jamo ngo uri imana full of compassion muri bibiliya yanje bayisimbuye ngo uri imana yibambe nimbabazi the word full of yibambe nimbabazi ni impuhwe zuzuye nizo mpuhwe mercy and truth is comes together to make compassion that is full compassion amen amen imana yacu our god uhereye ku mutwe kugeza kubirenge ni impuhwe from ni full from the, the top of his of, from the beginning to end his Mercy or oh, he's full of compassion full of compassion yuzu impuwe amen amen ikindi nanone impuwe z'Imana zituma 
yirengagiza ikababarira ibyaha wakoze nibicumuro wakoze in his compassion he forgives our sins and iniquities kubera imbu wigira because of the mercy he has uza wakoze ibyaha wacakaye wapfuye ikavuga ati ndakubabariye kubwa imbu wiza you come full of sins and he forgives you because of his mercy zaburi 8:6 Psalm 86 Pardon Zaburi ya ka, eh, mirongo 7 78 kuri 38 iravuga ngo He says ngo ariko iyo kuko yuzuye imbabazi cyangwa se mu bundi buryo yuzuye impu ngo ibabarira gukiranirwa kwabo ntiyabarimbura kandi kenshi isubiza inyuma burakari bwayo ntikangura umujinya wayo wose but he being full of compassion forgave their iniquity and did not destroy them yes many a time he turned his anger away and did not stir up all his wrath amen when you anger god and he wants to punish you in anger his mercy comes and stops it and then he draws back the wrath. Yes, Ashiwecha. Praise God. The wrath of God goes back because of his mercy. If it wasn't for that, me and you would have been dead. Remember all the mistakes you make. But because of his mercy, because of his mercy, it draws back his anger away. Because of the mercy of God, he forgives you. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Because of this mercy, in his compassion, he does great and wonderful things that will never be forgotten. Amen. Because of his compassion, he does great things that will be remembered forever. Works that will be remembered forever. What he did in his compassion, you will always remember. The day I was going to go through this and that, but God had compassion on me. Did you know that the miracles that happened to us is not because we deserve them, it is because of God's compassion? Oh, yeah. God doesn't do great things for you because you served him more than others, but he does it because of his compassion. Because God is not a police officer. Instead of policing you, he brings compassion and mercy. God is not an inspector of your life. But he is compassionate upon your life. The great works he did are a remembrance that show his compassion. Psalm 111 verse 4 He has made these wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. His wonderful works are made as a remembrance because of his graciousness and his compassion. He is a fool of compassion. He is a gracious and a fool of compassion. He has made his wonderful, his wonderful works to be remembered. God works towards you works that will be remembered 
and that comes out of his compassion. Ushobora kwibwira ngo wowe ni imbaraga zawe niki ariko imirimo yakoze mu buzima bwawe igaragaza ko atari wowe hari ukuboko kwima you may think that it's because of your own power, but it is not so. It is because of the arm of God. For you to be here today, it is because of his compassion. Because you are alive today, there is compassion. Think about your past. Think about those who are greater than you, who are more uh, handsome or beautiful than you who are not alive. And they had ways to live. If we didn't have means to live, many of us would have died. If there were people who were trying to survive, we could not have survived. If there was a way to negotiate, uh, life. Some of us would have negotiated to a certain extent and then leave. But there are others you think and ask yourself, how did that person pass away? That person lacked nothing. Nothing. How is that, that person? Passing away while I'm still alive. All those things are amazing. All those things are, are surprising. I was following the news from Egypt. Uh, somebody sent me. Someone uh, was angry towards his wife and children. Because he found them praying. And he killed the mother. Uh, he had two daughters. And he took those two daughters. And he went in the wilderness. And he uh, dug a hole in the sand. And he put his two daughters in that, in that hole. And he uh, covered the hole with sand. And he buried them alive. And that came to be known afterwards. And news came uh, asking how the wife died. One person, one person learned about it. Or discovered that. And he alerted the police. After two weeks, they took the husband. And he confessed about that he killed her. So he said, show us where you buried the daughters. Because he had killed the, the wife already. When they dug the hole, they found that the children were still alive. After two weeks, they asked her, they, they did not have any issue. They were uh, healthy. They asked what happened. And the daughter said how he killed their, their, their mother and he buried them. Because a journalists were there to ask. And he said, they told them, when um, my father dug a hole and buried us, we found one, one man. He was clothed in white clothes and he spent, he lived with us in that place. He would feed us bread in the morning and he would feed, he would give us water every day. And they said, who is that person? He said, he told us his name. He said, he's Jesus Christ. On the Egyptian television, the, Egypt, the, the national television, that news was broadcast. I want you to hear the compassion of God. He lives with us even in hell. 
Imani kabana natwe mu mazi. He lives with us in water. He lives with us in fire. He, uh, he suffers together with us. He cries with us. And he cares for us. For you to be here you are a sign of the works of God that cannot be forgotten that will be remembered you must always remember where God took you from because you came out of that place because of his compassion if you forget about that you will have forgotten the compassion of God that is the gift that he gave you he gave you his compassion so that you can be among the living today. Brethren, the compassion of God retains or draws back his wrath. The compassion of God retains the anger of God. Psalm 145 Verse 8, the Bible says, The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. He is slow to anger and he is great in mercy. The anger of God is taken away or retained by his mercy. When the anger of God raises, the compassion of God causes it to melt. Praise God. That is the compassion that we bring you. That is the mercy that we talk about. This month, may God look at you with the eyes that he looked with Leah. May God see you with his favor. Where people don't look at you, may he look at you. When, may, when people don't hear you, may he see you with his own eyes. Let the heart of God guide you. Let the heart of God be with you. Let the heart of God go before you. Stand up and let's thank God. Praise God. Amen. Kwa maana fadhili zako za dumu milele na milele amina kwa maana kwa maana fadhili zako za dumu Kwa maana fadhili zako za dumu milele na bile Kwa maana fadhili Kwa maana fadhili Zako za dumo Baba Milele na milele Amina Kwa maana fadhili Kwa maana fadhili Zako za dumo Kwa maana fadhili Kwa maana fadhili Zako za dumu Bilele na bilele Amina 
Mana imbabazi zawe ngo zihora witeka ryose. God your compassion or your mercy endures forever. Mwibuwe zawe zihora witeka ryose. Your mercy endures forever. Muri uko kwezi kwimbuwe. In this month of mercy. Zigirire umuntu wese uraha. Have it towards everybody. Hagari kuburakari bwawe. Retain your anger. Kore imirimo yawe myizi ikomeye ku buzima bwe. Do your great works upon our lives. Do your miracles upon his life. Open the heavens upon their lives. Let your compassion. Let your mercy. Fill that person's life. Heal that person. Because of your mercy. Elevate them. Because of your mercy. Open their doors. Because of your compassion. Show yourself to that person because of your compassion. Change their history because of your compassion. We thank you. Those who are here and those who follow us online. May your compassion reach them. Receive the compassion of God. 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 We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.